I'm Jessica Naraki here from Remax Hallmark in Port Carling. I'm here with Jackie Simcoe, TD Mortgage Specialist in Muskoka. Hi Jackie, thank you for taking the time to sit with me today. Hi Jessica, thanks for inviting me. No problem. Jackie, if I had a first time home buyer and they were looking into the option of purchasing a home and I sent them to you, where would they start? The first place to start is with a pre-approval. That way they know exactly what they're pre-approved for and what price range to be looking at. Also, it gives them additional time to save more money for the down payment if they need, or also to sort out any um, issues with their credit bureau before they've made an offer and they've got a five-day limit. So if they were to sit down with you for the pre-approval process, what would they require to have available to show you? First thing we need to do is we need to confirm their income. Okay. So recent pay stubs, their notice of assessment from Canada Revenue for the last two years to show what they've earned in the past, okay. letter from their employer. We also need to confirm their down payment. So any investment statements, if they're taking money out of their RSP, where that money is and how much they've got, um, any mutual fund statements, bank account statements, what are the financing options for a first-time home buyer? Basically, there's two options. We can either do a conventional mortgage or line of credit where the customer has 20% down, or we can do um, an insured product either through Genworth or CMHC where the customer has 5% down. Okay, let's talk about a conventional mortgage. So they would require 20% down. Mm -hmm. Are there any other criteria that the bank are looking for? Yeah. The property criteria can sometimes be a little bit more stringent with a conventional mortgage. You know, a minimum 850 square feet on the house, um, and the house needs to be in good repair and um, a sellable property. Okay, and for an insured mortgage? CMHC actually doesn't have minimum square footages. They will also insure a property that has insole brick siding and um, you know, a little bit of a fixer-upper. They have um, a purchase plus improvement program where you can borrow 10% of the improved value of the house to do renovation. Okay. It's important that the, whole, the buyer understand they don't get that money up front. Okay, so the, the money will be there to pay for the improvements, but the improvements need to be made first. And there are, they have homework that they do need to do prior to that, correct? Yes, they need to have estimates for the improvement. So if they want to put new shingles on, they should get an estimate ahead of time so we can add the cost of that to the value of the house. Okay, Jackie, let's talk about a high ratio mortgage and the fees associated with that. When a customer doesn't have 20% um, down, they can buy a house with as little as 5% down. Those mortgages need to be insured with either CMHC or another company called Genworth. They charge a fee for that. The fee is generally 2.75%, but can be lower if the customer has a higher down payment. And 2.75% of the, the mortgage. mortgage. And that gets added to the mortgage amount. You can pay it up front, but that <laughs> rarely happens. It gets added to the mortgage amount. At closing, the lawyer will collect 8% of the CMHC fee for PST. Okay. okay. And are there any other costs associated with the high ratio mortgage? Not associated with the mortgage, but there are going to be closing costs for the purchase of the house. Okay. There may be what? land transfer tax, there'll be the lawyer's fee, title insurance, um, prepaid property tax, um, possibly the cost of filling a propane or oil tank, and those are all fees that will be collected by the lawyer. Jackie, a question that I'm asked quite often, and I'm sure you are as well, mm -hmm. what does it cost to hire a mortgage broker? Well, actually, I'm a mortgage specialist, and I'm paid by TD Canada Trust. Okay. So it doesn't cost anything for the customer to call me. And Jackie, why should our clients use a TD Mobile mortgage specialist? Mortgages and lines of credit are all I do. All I do is work with homeowners and home buyers, 
And again, I don't have um, just a one hour time slot for them. I can talk them through the entire process. I'm always handy when they need me. I work after hours. So if somebody needs to see me on Sunday afternoon, I'm often available. Or, you know, Wednesday night at 7 or, you know, if there's a lot to cover, I can take the time to show them all their options and answer all their questions so that they know what they're doing and they're not nervous about the process. Great, Jackie. Thank you very much for You're taking welcome. the time to meet with me today. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.